Well, it was a great result for St Kilda in a lot of respects on so many different levels the other night at the best and fairest when Jack Stephen was crowned the champion St Kilda player for 2013. A great feather in this young man's cap. And he's been good enough to join us on the show. G'day, Jack. Hello, boys. How are we? Oh, mate, not nearly as well as you. <laughs> hey, Jack, before we get stuck into the real serious stuff, uh, you come from Lawn. Now, just give us uh, 30 seconds. Just sell Lawn to us and all the good yeah, things. That, that not, it wouldn't be that hard to sell. I, I know. Think. Beautiful Lawn surf. Well, I was a youngster. I was down there hitting the waves, hanging 10. But what? Uh, how do enough. you sell it? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it just sells itself. It's a great town and a great spot to grow up, really. Um, I love it down there. I was down there on the weekend and the boys won the premiership, so... Helped them celebrate down there for the weekend. It was, a, it was a great night. It's a little bit hard to get a car park at peak mm. uh, holiday se- seasons down there, Jack. Just a little hard to find mm. somewhere to park the wheels. Yeah, no, you just walk everywhere. Just get the fitness up. Mm. <laughs> yeah, a few hills down there too. Probably good to prove a bit of tra- pre-season training for you. Speaking of the fitness, Jack, um, how, what do you put down your great year to? Because I remember speaking to... Uh, someone from St Kilda, I reckon it was probably just after Christmas, and they said, you asked the traditional question, who's, you know, who's really firing on the track? And they said, Jack Stephen has been best on at training just about every session. Did you really have a, you know, even more of a focus than, than ever on, on, your, on your pre-season and, and being able to lift yourself to another level? Yeah, that was probably um, my biggest thing was just I had a, um, probably a better off season, just didn't get at like came back a bit fitter and wasn't as quite as fat. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I was re- I was ready to go when I got back, and it sort of just helped me out a lot better. And I was a bit more luckier with my injuries; like I've got a lot better at maintaining my body, and um, yeah, just looked after that all year. Does it take take a couple of years, Jack? I mean, it's your uh, fifth season, I think, in the competition. Does it take a couple of years for you to get that AFL kind of hardened body, and particularly in terms of knowing how to apply yourself to pre-seasons? Yeah, it definitely did to me because I um, struggled with my groins early on, so I just couldn't I couldn't actually do the load. Like, I just kept breaking down. So um, I sort of, touch wood, I think I've jumped that with my groins and they've been holding up really well, so I can just do... A lot more training, and um, I'm seem to be handling it better. That's really interesting you mentioned that because you know that's where your power and your sort of breakaway speed comes from. And you know we've heard a lot of players with OP over the years talk about the fact that they lose their power. Your ability to run out of um, congestion was really obvious this year. It, it, do you feel, feel like it was really reflected in the way you could actually play your footy? Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's always been one of my strengths, but just when you get to AFL, just the high intensity you've got to be able to do it the whole time and I just struggled with that as a um, younger younger sort of guy and now I uh, seem to get more consistent quarters out of it which is good Now Jack, uh, the off season never, didn't really get off to a fly with some of the uh, the activities that went on down there at St Kilda but what are your plans for the How long off do you get and uh, what plans are you working going to work on over the season to try and get better? Uh, my plans are just to relax for a few weeks uh, it was a big year for me, and then I'm going to go away with my girlfriend. I think we're going to go to Cambodia and Malaysia. Good. And then um, I'll just head back to Lawn with where I live, and I'll start um, getting back into training and getting fit. And yeah, just having a big mental break at the moment for me. That's a big one, I think. Take us through the night, Jack. I mean, you had a couple of senior players at the footy club this year. They had really good years. Montagna and Revolt in particular had outstanding years. You've been able to stave them off in the count. Uh, it must have been really exciting to be part of the room and see your name amongst those two and in the end of it, in front of the two of them. Yeah, it was a really uh, special night for me, but I was real nervous and I was freaking out pretty much <laughs> <clears throat> the whole night. <laughs> I didn't really enjoy it that much right. at, at, until the right of the end because <laughs> I was just so nervous, but um, I was very happy with the result. Um, I had, had Jaron Geary looking after me, so that was good. Was he sitting next to you? Yeah, and what, what sort of held my hand the whole time? How did he, how did he kind of, <laughs> other than holding your hand, how did he kind of nurse you through the uh, the uh, the tumult of the night? Oh, we just talked like all the boys do. Just talked a lot of rubbish and oh. sort of just relaxed me. So, uh, so what does it feel like then to be a uh, a best and fairest? Um, yeah, it, it's an awesome feeling, and um, yeah, it's pretty. It's sort of daunting just looking at all the other winners, but I'm very um, yeah, real happy and very proud. I have to ask you one 
question about what happened last week, and I guess more the response from the club about the the change, uh, you know, the fact that you guys uh, and you were part of it, the, the apology to the to the club, to uh, to the fans, and to the members, a, a change in culture. What, what do the what do the players think about all that? Yeah, I think we're pretty much just basically um, drawing a line in the sand there, and just saying um, enough's enough. We want to try and get our reputation back around the club and. We started that on uh, last week, but we rang all the members and sent sent them out um, a uh, little message. And hopefully, it's obviously going to take like you can't just turn on the switch and it will take time. But um, that's our goal, really. Mm, good learning experience. Let's hope. But hey, Jack, we have a little segment here called Fast Five, where we try and delve mm. into some of the goings on out there at uh, in Clubland. And we just need your first instinctive response to these uh, five questions. You ready? Yep, no All right, worries. here we go. Which of the boys fancies themselves as a ladies' man? Uh, David Armitage. Oh, good. That's and, been said before. Too, and, uh, you know, this is just your personal opinion, but which one of the boys is batting well above their average? Jaron Geary. Oh. <laughs> does, does that mean he's not yeah, all that well, good, that, I guess? I would have thought so, yeah. Hey, uh, who falls asleep in two meetings? Uh... Used to be Stephen Baker. Um, <laughs> I don't think anyone's taken over from him yet. Right. right. Now, we've heard a little bit about lawn, but uh, what are the must-do things for tourists in Seaford? Uh, check out Lynn the House Oval. Yeah, yeah good. nice. Good. 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 Now, answer. within the group, who's uh, got very, very deep pockets and extremely short arms? Who's the tightest teammate you've got? Uh, David Armitage. He's been mentioned he, before as well. Very common. <laughs> He's a multiple nomination. Uh, uh, Jack, well played, mate. It's been a joy watching you play. Tough year, obviously, for the Sainers. Uh, a great way to finish it. Uh, that must have been a magnificent day to be part of just before we let you go. To farewell the three, you know, great St Kilda foot soldiers and champions of the club that a couple of them have been. Um, yeah. It must have been a great was, thing to be part of. It was. I've never had that much fun playing a game of footy, I don't think. It was very enjoyable that last quarter, and, um, yeah, it was a great send-off, and I think all the boys were having a ball, and it was awesome. Good on you, mate. Thanks for joining us, and congratulations on the BNF.